This is the Helios uh, 6 inch achromatic uh, refractor. Helios is the name for a star watcher before the year 2000. And it is a F5 refractor, very fast. Propeller 750, diameter of the objective 150, so F5. And the F5 telescope are very fast. And I'm going to put the butter, uh, diagonal, and a 28mm skull watcher, eyepiece 2 inch. The objective is uh, 150 centimeter. It will be the biggest you can easily use and handle in one, as one person on a normal mount. Anything bigger will be really cumbersome and needs a very specialized mount. The mount for this telescope I'm using is the AutoZimut mount. This is Sky T2. Uh, uh, and it's really handy. The tripod is a uh, Celestron Omni 127XLT, uh, equal to EQ5. And I can put one here, one here, another one here if I don't use this uh, counterweight. This is the view to the 28mm eyepiece. I'm looking at the moon. It's a crescent moon, so it's a uh, two second or third day of the uh, lunar phase. The age of the moon is three days or two days, probably three days mostly. And uh, so I'm looking at the daylight uh, and into the crescent moon, and you can see the clouds are coming and passing. So it's not as good as the, the view is not as good as when it is the sky background is dark. But yet you can see you can see some craters. I can see Ptavius, the large crater. Uh, the camera doesn't show justice to what you can see visually. It is a very neat and clean image. Uh, I try to enhance the features on this photograph, but the actual view is more uh, you know detailed than this. When you visually s look at it, you see a lot more. And I have put some of the names on this uh, image also. Oh, the sharpest images I've ever seen of the M42 uh, is with this uh, um, Skywatcher Helios 6 inch refractor, achromatic. Uh, the only comparable view is the one that I had with the Maxitov. I'm using the APM 20mm eyepiece, 100 degrees. This is the first time I can actually see some faint uh, gray, green, pink color in the M42 Great Orion Nebula. I don't think this is a chromatic aberration because the nebula practically doesn't have chromatic aberration. It's very diffuse. It's not a concentrated uh, object like a star. So what I'm saying is actually the color of it. It's easy to pick it up with the camera, but with the eye, really is the first time I'm seeing it with this refractor now. Visually, this is what you can see with this uh, telescope. Uh, a little bit colors I've exaggerated, uh, and the photo shows a little bit more. But that is M42, as you could see with this telescope. Beautiful. This is my mobile phone camera, Huawei P10, P30 Pro. I use it for, you know, astrophotography. And uh, exposure, I will write at the end uh, how much is 400,009. It's almost like a Sony uh, 7 Alpha. And uh, I compare it with the 8 inch uh, Meet LX90 uh, Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. Uh, this is the best result I had with this. Now I'm going to show you the result with the Mid LX90. That's the one. And as you can see, now I put them together beside each other. The left side is the 16-inch refractor, and the right side is the LX90 8-inch CT telescope. I feel that I could see more contrasting, more color in the refractor. Also I photographed uh, and I could see 
the M1 Crab Nebula, the supernova remnant in the constellation, that's the Zeta Tauri, the brightest star to the right side, lower part of, and the M1 is to the top side uh, in the left. It was amazing. I could photograph it even with the cam, uh, with my mobile phone. And uh, this is a really good result. I'm happy with the results I got.